Jim Van Pelt, ready to start the 1958 edition of the Grey Cup. There we go. The kick is to Howell on the 13-yard line. He's across the 25, up to the 28-yard line, and he is knocked over by Tony Kerr. Kerr, number 90 for Winnipeg, and it's first down. After that 52-yard kickoff and 14-yard return, first down for the Tiger Cats on the 28-yard line. Bernie Filoni, the quarterback for the Hamilton Tiger Cats, pass is intended for Howell and it's nowhere near him. Howell covered on the play by Nick Miller and Norm Lahaus. So it'll be second and ten for the Tiger Cats. They're on their own 28-yard line. The starting offensive backfield for Hamilton, Bernie Filoni, Don Southern, Jerry McDougal, Howell and Grant. Maloney's pass intended for McDougal. McDougal covered on the play by Gordy Rowland. And it's now third down for Hamilton. And they send in the blockers for the punting team. The deep men for Winnipeg to receive the punt. On the left, lateral on the right, Gordy Rowland. Fraser gets the ball away. It's a low, wobbly kick. Seemed to go off the side of his foot. Picked up by Ron Latterell, or on the 55-yard line. Latterell up to the 50. The flag goes down on the field, and the officials are calling no yards on that 27-yard punt by Cam Fraser. Milt Campbell in there, too close on the play, along with Billy Graham of the Tiger Cats. And there is also another flag down on the field. And let's see what they're calling. The officials are calling first down for the Hamilton Tiger Cats, so there must have been interference on the line of scrimmage, past the line of scrimmage. On the putter going downfield. Interference called against the Winnipeg Blue Bombers on the punter going downfield after the football. So it's first down for the Hamilton Tiger Cats on the 31-yard line for Hamilton. Bernie Filoni, the quarterback. He gets the rush put on him. Garland Warren comes up to try to make the tackle, and Filoni gets down, and it's marked at the 41-yard line. The tackle made by Cease Loney, Winnipeg's defensive right end. Looney, number 73. Very close to a first down. We'll see what the officials call. They're calling for the yardsticks. Bernie Filoni, trapped on that pass attempt, ran the football himself. by inches. Winnipeg Blue Bombers have made a defensive change. Kenny Plain has now gone in at halfback in place of Nick Miller on the left side. Plain number 89. Second and inches to go for the Hamilton Tiger Cats just inside their own 41-yard line. And the sun seems to be trying to work its way out here at Empire Stadium. Bernie Filoni, the quarterback. Filoni carries the football himself. It'll be very close to the first down. The official signal is first down. Buddy Tinsley coming up there to grab Filoni. Filoni 
First down for the Hamilton Tiger Cats on the 41-yard line. No score in the football game. The ball handed off to, Don, uh, to Jerry McDougal. McDougal grabbed by Buddy Tinsley. He's across the 45-yard line. And the officials spot the ball just over the 47. A six-yard gain on the play. It'll be second and four for the Tiger Cats. Second and four, Hamilton. In the 47. The hand of the pitch out is to Southern. Southern up across the 45, the 50, the 55-yard line into Winnipeg territory. Finally pulled over by Kenny Plain. It'll be first down for the Hamilton Tiger Cats on the Winnipeg Blue Bomber 53-yard line. 12 minutes, 17 seconds remain in the first quarter. Eddie Macon flanked to the left. The handoff is to Southern. Southern met by Cease Looney, the defensive right end for the Winnipeg Blue Bombers. Direction the handoff to Jerry McDougall and Bernie Filoni is pulling the same tricks that he pulled several years ago in the Grey Cup final. I was positive that Southern had the football. <laughs> Bernie Filoni, the master ball handler, who has been getting all those passing raves this year. Gain of five on the play. It will be second and five. The officials having trouble with the yardsticks. They've now put a second set into use in the football game. The Hamilton Tiger Cats, second and five. They're on the Winnipeg Blue Bomber 48 yard line. Maloney's pass down the center. Cut by Paul Decker on the 38 yard line. Decker is dropped on the 36 yard line. Keith Pierce, the defensive right halfback for Winnipeg, making the tackle. And the bright sunshine here at Empire Stadium in Vancouver, putting long shadows on the ball field. 11 minutes, 22 seconds remain in the first quarter. No score in the football game, but the Hamilton Tiger Cats on the Winnipeg 36 yard line. Bernie Filoni is the quarterback. The fullbacks, McDougal and Southern. The handoff fake, and the pitch that passes to Jerry McDougal. McDougal up to the 30-yard line, down to the 25, to the 20-yard line, to the 15, to the 10, and he is finally running to touch on the 9-yard line. Gordy Rowland coming in to make the tackle. There's a flag on the play. The penalty is against the Winnipeg Blue Bombers. Winnipeg Blue Bombers called for illegal interference. And the Hamilton Tiger Cats, of course, refused the penalty because of the fine gain made by McDougal. Bernie Filoni, the quarterback, flips the lateral to Jerry McDougal. And McDougal down to the 10 yard line, down to the 5, and McDougal over for the touchdown. Jerry McDougal puts the Hamilton Tiger Cats in front in this football game. Hamilton 6, the Winnipeg Blue Bombers nothing. The Tiger Cats went 82 yards in 11 plays for that touchdown. Very important play along the way, the penalty on the third down punt. Hamilton had kicked to Winnipeg. Winnipeg penalized on the third down. Hamilton took over and went all the way for their touchdown. Steve Onischuk attempting the convert for the Hamilton Tiger Cats. Bernie Filoni holding the ball. The kick is good, and the Tiger Cats lead the Winnipeg Blue Bombers 7 to nothing. 